In this video, we will see how to create an IVR campaign in ICT Broadcast. First, we will create an IVR. Go to the Messages main menu, then click on IVR, and then click on New IVR button. This will open IVR Designer. It has an Applications table on the left side. We will drag and drop these applications on the right side white drawing area. When an application is dropped, its properties pop-up window will open. Let's start creating an IVR that will play a recording asking the call recipient to press a key. If one is pressed, then another recording will be played. If two is pressed, then the call will be transferred to an agent present at the extension number 1011. If three is pressed, then the message will be repeated. If four is pressed, then the call will hang up. We will also connect these applications through connection lines. Connection lines define the sequencing of the applications. After the Play Audio application playing a welcome message, we will connect it with an Option Menu application. Then we will drag and drop another Play Audio application and set its recording. This Play Audio application is connected with Option 1 of the Option Menu application. After that, we will drag and drop a transfer application and select an agent extension, 1011. This transfer application is connected with option 2 of the option menu application. Once the transfer application is connected with its option, we will set repeat message functionality on key press 3. For repeating the message, we will choose option 3 and drag it back and then drop it over the welcome message play audio application. That will repeat the message and options menu when the call recipient presses number 3 on its phone. Similarly, we will drag and drop hang up application and then connect it with connection line 4 of the option menu application. An optional final hang up application can be added at the last to make sure that the call will hang up after playing the audio and transfer application. Once you have finished preparing your IVR, write the name of this IVR in the IVR name text field. You can also specify some description about this IVR in the description text field. Once the IVR form is complete, click the Save button to save the IVR. This IVR will be listed in the IVR list. Now we will create an IVR campaign that will broadcast our newly created IVR to a group of phone numbers. Go to the Campaign's main menu, then click on Campaign Management menu, and then click on Add New button. Select IVR campaign in the campaign type list. In the campaign form, enter the name for this new campaign. Select contact group containing the phone numbers to which you want to broadcast this campaign. Then select the IVR which we created in the IVR designer. You can also customize settings for this campaign. For example, max concurrent calls, maximum retries and maximum duration of the call. You can also set custom caller ID and caller name. You can also schedule the campaign to run on specific days of the week and time range and specify the time when the campaign should stop. Once the campaign form is complete, click on the Save button to start this campaign. You will see a message on the page showing campaign saved successfully. You can also monitor a campaign that will show all the calls that are currently in progress. It will show the call status, ring time and answer time of the call. You can also see the results of the running as well as completed campaigns. The results link in the campaign list shows campaign summary reports in the pie chart. The campaign summary report shows answered, failed and pending calls. Clicking on the answered call link will show details of all the answered calls. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. ICT Broadcast is a product of ICT Innovations.